Crikey, here we are, out in the wild, hunting the elusive kill cliff. Now that one right there, that's just a baby. Little tiny one, cute as can be, and delicious in that state. But you gotta be careful, because the mothers, they can be three feet tall or larger. That's right, look at it down there, just waiting. You get closer, you gotta sneak up on these things, because if they hear you coming, they can get away. They got the CBDs in them, and that means they're fast and elusive. All right, let's see if we can catch this one. There it is, waiting in its natural habitat. And slowly, we reach. We've got it! Ah, I got it! You gotta move! You gotta move! Because these things, once you got them, they can be animals, they can be wild! Ah, yeah, well, pop it! Ah, there we go! Ah, mm, so worth it! Run away! Run away! Ah, the danger, danger, danger! <laughs> It's time for American Brain and Brawn. Starring John Brinkus and Lacey Evans. Animation. Do you want to know what I... Do you want to know or not? I do. Tell me. It's a rhetorical question, but I was just asking you if you wanted to know. Enlighten me, John. I like the way it makes me look about 20 years younger, maybe 30 years younger than what I am. That's what I like about it. That's the best thing. Possibly 35 years younger, but <laughs> who's counting anyway? You're, you're actually right. Um, hey, everybody. John Brink is here. We've got uh, Lacey Evans, as always. Why don't you say hello to our audience, Lacey? Hello, all you nasty things. Um, today's a rough one for me, so y'all are just going to have to get over it because it's been a very, very hard last two days. But I'm alive and I am here. I'm still kicking, so it's the best I can do. That's good. That, that's very good. Now, Lacey, what, uh, what went into picking the hat for today? Because it looks a little, doesn't look as cheery as uh, we're used to. You know, because I'm not cheery, John, okay? Not oh. everybody can have, like, Freaking rainbow, rainbows and sprinkles and glitter day. Me, so Today is just not a good day for me. Oh but no! Are we gonna? So what are we? So the title of this episode is gonna be Gloomy Lacy. Gloomy Lacy and get over it because you know what? I still got work to do. I still got yeah. a baby to raise, a husband to feed, and a yeah. show to put on. And because I love all my fans, that's why I'm here right now. That's okay. the only reason. Okay. Well, what, uh, what, why are you so gloomy? Yeah. I mean, honestly, you, what, what do you have to be gloomy about? You're a WWE superstar. You're a mom, you're a wife, you're a co-host on just a killer show. I mean, come on, what else do you want? Um, John, this is why. Okay. And I hope the world's listening right now. Cause this is important. I'm about to spit some facts, even Ooh. though I don't know the medical terminology for half the stuff I'm about to say, cause I'm not a doctor, but I went to the chiropractor uh, to get adjusted and um, had an appointment and a few exams and a couple x-rays later. And it was brought to my attention that I over-caffeinate so bad that it is actually doing the reverse effect on my body, which is like bringing me down and stressing me out. And, and as you know, you and I both are very big advocates for mental health and ways you can figure out how to have better days and just face life because life kicks your ass anyway so um i learned that there's things you could do like cutting out half over half of the caffeine uh, if you i i am on a one and a half cups of caffeine right now today in the last 24 that's terrible for me this is hard but the long-term effects of this will be great so i just have to take it one day at a time yesterday i went on one cup today this is what is that john can I um, take it? Hold on. Hold oh on. Oh, my gosh. Go, Herbert, go full with this. Um, hold on. Lacey is trying to make up some kind of excuse that she's cranky because of caffeine. But if we look here, um, I believe that is little Lacey, I believe. Oh, and my I gosh. I think this is little Lacey Jr. 
Yeah. Where did you get that? You're well, such I was, a day old. I was poking around the internet. You know what you can find these days, but oh I'll tell goodness. you what, is that a like over caffeinated five-year-old? Yes, John. And it's hard. Okay. That's what I feel like. You see that face? Today's mm -hmm. just one of those days, y'all. So just forgive me. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is me. That is you. You know, and I'm going to I'm going to kind of split screen it because I'm going to keep it here just to remind you that that's what you always have looked like. So, <laughs> so I don't like this whole blaming coffee thing like coffee's making you cranky. It's true, though, John, it's rough, man. You know, I'm doing the best that I can for emotionally and mentally and physically. And yeah. this is kicking my butt. OK, and it's only day two. You got to adapt, improvise, and overcome. Um, I don't know, Lacey, you know, do you want to ask me a couple questions? Because I can give you some coping mechanisms if you'd like. Uh, please, please, let, okay. let tell me. All right, well, what, first of all, I would like to say that if you're trying to overcome something, one of the uh, ways to um, really thrive is substitution. So when you feel the urge to drink coffee and you say, oh my God, I have to have coffee. I got You got to substitute it with something that you then associate with this coffee craze you have. And eventually it transitions to the other thing. Um, and that other thing ideally is something healthier than coffee. Um, Cause we don't want you, you know, we don't want the whole caffeine thing with the heart and you know, your AAA plus personality type not sure that it can take it and are you mocking me right now yes because i need coffee and you know what john yeah you know what else i already tried substitution you see this protein shake i went yeah. in the house got me a protein shake thinking this is what's gonna pump me up for american brain and brawn and i'm gonna be motivated <laughs> to love all my fans and then i come in here and i start drinking it and the next thing you know, I'm, my head's laid down on the table and I want to take a nap. Oh, what does, you know, here, let's go to the uh, chat room right now. Um, we got Brianna, Brianna Ledger says that expression is awesome. First of all, um, yes, I agree that that expression is awesome. And she's not talking about your face right now. She's talking about that. <laughs> that's what she's talking about. Thank you. So, the that expression. Um, that's what she's talking about. So uh, it says... Uh, te uh, Teddy Wise says, um, hey, you tell Lacey that she's beautiful and gorgeous. Do I need to tell you that? Are you that insecure? Uh, there is nothing about me that's insecure unless you take away my coffee, honey. But mm -hmm. I can see myself in this screen, and from what I'm looking at, I agree with him, honey. All right. Well, listen, we are, listen, we have a big audience today. We're streaming on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, all over the place. If you guys have a nice comment, you can drop it in the, especially the Facebook uh, comment box. Also use hashtag Lacey Evans on any of the social media platforms. Uh, right now on Facebook, we need to see you give us some thumbs up and some hearts. You have to like pound it because that's the way that we let people know that we're on live. And that's what and attracts I need all a bigger the audience. And break I, can it. Get. I need all the help, the hearts, the, the thumbs yep. up for this journey I'm on because I am tired and I am stressed yep. out. She's right. That's right. So right now, Lacey is struggling. Now, Lacey, I want to know, I want to know from you in terms of being able to adapt, improvise, and overcome. Listen, you are beautiful. You're beautiful whether or not you're angry. Now, I just said you're beautiful. Do we have a brain and brawn HR department I need to report to? Or can I just say objectively, I believe you're beautiful. Although I don't feel anything emotionally, I objectively find you beautiful. That way we can kind of separate the words from the emotion. What do you Honey, think? Honey, you're just, you're just stating facts, sweetheart. That's just, right. don't, just don't touch me and you'll survive. That's, that's right. Fortunately, there's a screen between us and uh, a few thousand miles. So that's, uh, that's good. Um, I have a comment right here from Jack in Facebook. It says, Lacey, will you marry me? Who's that? Jack. Jack what? Pierce. Jack, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. no. no. No? Not today, not never. I am a happily married woman. I've got the best husband in the world. Right. Okay. Lord, Trent Dur help him. I haven't had enough coffee for that, Jack. Yeah. My goodness. Trent Darshan says, Lacey, you're my favorite. Now, favorite, it doesn't say favorite what, though. That means everything. I'm his favorite everything. 
his oh. favorite wrestler, his favorite wife, his favorite host, his favorite human being, his favorite everything, honey. All right, I MC Carvalho says, Lacey, you're amazing. Facts again? Yep, all facts. All I'm hearing is facts here. All right. Um, uh, it says right here we got Lady Mania Gaming. It says no one loves Lacey as much as me, even Ooh. though it should be as much as I do. But Well, you know. I mean, she loves the hell out of me, obviously, because she took her time to come out here, not only watch our show, but let me know. So don't yeah. correct my fan. You let yeah, her say right. whatever the hell she wants. She that, knows what right. she's talking about. By the way, grammar is dead, especially on social media. It, it's it's well, dead. Um, we, I have, have, we get straight to the point, honey. That's right. Um, ooh, Charles Bills. It says, love straight from Africa. You're very oh. beautiful and amazing. Again, facts. Facts, all facts. And I want to go to Africa one day, so... I, yeah, I love it. Hey, uh, who 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 was that from Africa? Oh, it was Charles. Charles, let us know. Africa is a big continent, so let us know what country you're uh, you're watching. Yeah. Um, it says David Clark says, "Lacey, you're awesome, just the way you are." I think he's talking about your caffeine problem. Um, oh. That you don't need to you don't need to cover up yourself. You don't have to bury your head in coffee. We love you. All of us love you enough. You do not need to do that. You think you love me without with without coffee until you get that, Lacey. Mm. Then, so so let me cut coffee cold turkey, and then I don't want to hear none of y'all nasties complaining because exactly. you can barely handle me now, sweethearts. What do you That's think right. I'm gonna be like without the coffee? Hey, uh, I need I need a little thumbs up and heart from that action right there. Give me a thumbs up and heart. Kent Stewart says, strongest woman I know. Uh, women's right straight to that nasty Sasha. Does anybody yep. know what that's? AKA that punch Sasha Banks right in her freaking face, her jaw, her nose, her entire <laughs> dome piece. Just knock it straight out. That's what he means. Been okay. there. I've done that, and I plan on doing it again, honey. <laughs> wow. You are, you know what, for someone who is as objectively beautiful as you are, you are tough and you're talking about smacking people in the face and people are going crazy about it, which John, I think is kind of cool. John, bring that photo up that you took your time to go find. Bring it up. Mm -hmm. You want to talk about tough, honey? I've been tough since day one. <laughs> I walked around with that, that stance, that face, that snarl, that... Yeah. badass strong woman since the day i was born and it's done nothing to, but got a lot worse and add coffee to that nobody can handle me <laughs> that's right uh here's one thing it says this is from tommy he says lacy you're beautiful and bright i think he's saying you're intelligent oh tell me something i don't know i have a bachelor's degree in health administration management yeah. I could throw I could throw some more educational cer certificates and accomplishments out there, but we don't have all damn day, honey. Uh, in the in the Facebook chat uh, right now, can you guys please give me the best ad adjectives to describe Lacey? Oh, let's um, hear them. I want to. I, yeah, I want to hear them. Everybody, throw some adjectives in the Facebook chat box to let me know what you think. What words best describe Lacey? I'm gonna say. Um, I'm gonna go first, Lacey. We're gonna play a little bit of a little bit of a, um, a host co-host game here. Um, I'm gonna say you are um, brawny. I'm gonna say you are brainy. I'm gonna say you are beautiful. I got a lot of bees going on here. And I'm going to say, I actually like uh, what jo uh, I think it was Joe said, that you're bright. I like that. That that explains me well, John. You did a very good job. Um, all right, while I'm... Were... Yeah, oh, no, your, your words are coming. Um, okay, good, because I'm collecting all your words in the chat box right now. Everybody keep John, these are words just that describe coming. Head. I mean, um, strangly, strangly. Um, you're smart. You're very smart. Trust me, I would not have hooked up half of this nonsense if it wasn't for you. Yeah. Um, a little frail. Frail's a word, right? Frail. Um, happy. You always seem to be happy with or without coffee. Sometimes yeah. it gets on my nerves, but we push through. Yeah. You're a good talker. And and then that's it. Oh man. 
That's good ones. Frail, a frail can be a good thing. You're like, you're like um, sensitive. I don't know. Some women like sensitive men. Yeah, I, I'm a frail, good talker. Yeah, like I mean, frail, like sensitive. I don't know. I mean, all right. that well, takes his own. Yeah. All right. So listen, uh, we're, we here are the words that are coming. We got. Wow, I like these words right here. Yeah, so these are the best words to describe. Me. All right, you ready? You, do you want to write these down, or you just want to absorb them? No, you know, let me write them down because oh, because because for for many reasons, but um, yeah, I like I like this because you can rattle these off. And uh, here we go. Here, everybody, keep throwing words in here because these are pretty awesome. We've Hit. got uh, Israel says role model. It's two words. Hell but I'll yeah! Allow I'll allow that. Willie says um, awesome. April says awesome. So put okay. two next to awesome. Roger says everything. Oh, stop. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jose says non-nasty. Damn right. Yeah. Uh, Tony says goddess. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, Andy says smart. You know, that's a good word, but it's pretty simple. But it's good. It works. It's David, true. It's true, John. I'm a very smart woman. I'm a strong, smart woman. That's right. Uh, David says a role model to all women. That's from David. Oh, I'm going to put two for role model. Yeah, role model. Thomas says totally amazing. Oh. Totally is modifying amazing. Uh, Sarah, classy. Uh, then we got, yet. ooh, get this one. Humane. The hell Lace is that? Uh, well, Lacey Evans is the most humane wrestler in the women's division, despite the fact that she's a heel. What is like humane, like nice? I do nice things for the for humans. It, mean, it, it oh. means uh, it means that you uh, never cross the line. You know, you you. Uh, do things I don't by know. the book. No, that's I'll, right. I'll that's right. That one later. All right, Raul says classy. Uh, Luis says patriot. Ooh, I like Hell that one. Yeah. yeah, I like that one. Kaylee says classy. Chris says heroic. Now, guys, I want you to throw into the Facebook chat box, how about some made-up words? How about something that's a little more creative? I appreciate the real words, but I think that we need to try to find some kind of made-up words that describe Lacey because she's too – we can't box her in with normal – I mean, with, like, normal words. You could be a real word but used in a different context, kind of like nasties, kind of like, you know, something else. Just keep them coming. Andy says powerful. Oh, writing that one down. Write that one down. The damn truth. I don't know what is. Yeah. Um, it says, uh, ooh, MC says great mother and talented. Lord, I'm going to put both of those because that's still true. Yeah, that is still true. Uh, Samuel says classy. Mark that down again. Matt says strong. David says role model. Willie says very beautiful. Al says hot. And I don't, I don't know if he means temper. I don't know. You were a little snippy at the top there. I think he means temper because surely he's not that much of a nasty that would, that would insinuate that it's anything less because real women are not mm -hmm. called hot. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We're beautiful. Like That's hot. Right. You're talking to the wrong one, honey. That's right. Hot like objectifies, right? It like, oh, she's uh, hot. No. Right? I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, Let's I'm not see, even Matthew. That one down. You didn't even who who said that? He's not getting it. I'm not writing it down. Don't even write it down. I, I don't think who was that? We got to rat him out. It said, oh, Al. Take Al oh. off the list. Al, yeah. you got to come up with a better word than hot. We're not we're not going for hot. Ooh, this is good. We got uh, uh, Charisse, C H E R I S E. I apologize if I mispronounced it. Sassy. Yeah, I like that one. That's sassy. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Sean Fenner may be leading the way. Semper Fabulous. <laughs> Lord, absolutely. Lord. Ooh, Sean Fenner. Everybody like that one. Give it a little thumbs up on that. Semper no, give Fabulous. Give it a lot of thumbs up. That, let's get lots it's of thumbs up, fabulous. lots of hearts on that. Sean, first of all, that was brilliant. Nobody else that says Semper Fabulous. There's a lot in that one. I like it. Um, we got Al, uh, Al came with Chicago wrestler. I ain't even, I'm not from Chicago. I'm a yeah, sassy I'm Southern not. belt for a reason. I'm from Georgia right here, living in yeah. South Carolina, Chicago. Right. So, so, uh, we got Jose says blunt. 
Adrian says wickedly awesome. Kent <laughs> says sophisticated. I like uh, that. Christopher Breen says 10. I kind of like that. Semper Fabulous 10. That's kind of that's a cool like ride on your boat or something. Or on a plane, maybe your tractor. Semper Fabulous 10. I like that. Um let's see uh ooh, Jose Alpha. It's pretty good. Oh, honey, that's going to the top of the list. That's going to the top. Semper Fabulous 10 Alpha. Kind of like that. <laughs> Look at all these names. Yeah, Tony says Majestic. Uh, Billy Davis says Jobber. <laughs> you want me to tell you what that is? Yes, I do. All right, let me let me break it down for you because uh, a lot of these nasty things that don't get paid, not even a smidgen of what I get paid to come out here and do what I do on a day-to-day I mean, one paycheck could potentially pay off a damn house. Yeah. But you've got little nasties like that sitting in their computer, probably their phone because they don't own a computer. And they say that we're jobbers, which means we go out there and we lose night after night, match after match. And that's the best they can come up with is call us a damn jobber. Well, let me tell you something, honey. At least I have a job. A job that not only pays my bills, but has already paid my daughter's college tuition, has already purchased my property in full, sweetheart, and uh, has money in the bank. So if you want me to continue to go on about what this job and me jobbing has not only provided for my family, but my future children, Ooh. honey, I'd break your heart without the kiss on top, sweetheart. Testify! <laughs> Jobber my ass. <laughs> <laughs> David says habanero. I get what he's getting at. I kind of like that. Hot. Semper Fabulous 10 Alpha Habanero. That's what I like so far. Um, we got let's get some good ones here. Semper Fabulous is I, I still think is the best. Yep, that one's my fave. Yeah, it's a fave one. Andy Price just said charming. Oh, um thanks, Andy. Yeah. Yeah, Andy, that, that's pretty good. Wait, Semper Sassy Southern Bell. Ooh, oh. Semper Sassy. That's kind of, that was from Chris. Uh, it says, uh, Willie, the best in the world. And then he somehow he got a heart by that one. I mean, I get it, but I mean. What do you mean? What, what, you mean what? I don't, I don't know. I what mean, it's I not, not. What am I not the best at? It's not being specific enough. It's and just, you know, Semper ever? Fabulous is being pretty specific because it's military. It's like crossing over, Semper Fabulous. I get it. The best in the world at everything she does. What do you not get he, about that? She didn't, he didn't say everything. He just said what Semper. He, he, just no, said, he just said world. best in the world. I don't think it was that creative. That's just, I, I'm going to score it. Um, that's fine. Um, wow. Okay. So uh, Paulo. Paulo says, sorry for saying this, but I support Lacey Evans as champion. She deserves it a lot. Why is he sorry? He don't have to be sorry. You know why? Because you got be people like that that say, jobber, that are reading his comments mm -hmm. and are probably going to jump on him, which makes um, no sense. So. All right. So uh, do we want to switch it up a little bit here, uh, Lacey? Who said jobber? Did you write that down? Who said yeah, jobber? Absolutely. No, I didn't write that down. I, why would I? What's a good word for someone Somebody who's who in his mama's basement right now mm -hmm. as you said that. All right. Uh, I want you to put some uh, – I want you, somebody to put a comment in the uh, chat box in Facebook. Let me know – let me know what someone is currently doing right now. Lacey thinks that it's somebody sitting in their, mo in their mama's basement. Yeah. Uh, Where is that person talking. right now? Who is that person? Describe the person who would say jobber. I mean, jobber, that's pretty low. Hey, all I know is it's job, J O B, mm -hmm. money. Exactly. Yeah, I ain't right. broke, honey. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um. Wow. Look at this one. Kamala says, "Beautifully outstanding, powerful, patriot loving woman." That's Lord, one word. I love that. <laughs> That's that one word. A word to describe me. Oh, I like this one. Anas, legend killer. Like that. I, I like that. like that. Uh, ooh, David. David's on our side, so it's a huge insult to call a wrestler a jobber. Oh, That's yeah. right. I, I mean, I guess if it, if it bothers that wrestler, but let me tell yeah. you, 
Like I said, right. the first thing in jobber's job, and I got a damn good one. <laughs> yes, she does. The jobber comment, yeah, is look at everybody's all over this jobber thing. I mean, we don't have any trolls in this room, but they're jumping all over the jobber thing. Jeez, I didn't realize how I didn't realize it. All right, the uh, Willie says the best singer on SmackDown. Is that true? That is absolutely true. I just uh, had a karaoke uh, contest, which I won. Fair okay. and fair. Uh, I wanted, I would love to hear, and I'm going to have you go full screen on this. Uh, Herbert, go full screen on uh, Miss Lacey Evans. And everybody, if you like what you're, you hear here, I want you to give a thumbs up and a heart. Lacey, I want you to sing something. There you go. I'm putting you on the spot. You can sing anything you want, but I need you to sing. All right, I'll go to my go, one of my go-to songs. Um, All right. Unless yep. you just want me to cut a yodel out there, which I could do that too. That would be cool. All right, fine. I'll, I'll just yodel for all you nasty things out there. <clears throat> Another job that I do have <laughs> and that I'm capable of. <laughs> job that, you nasty. What can she not do? I don't know. <laughs> or we go back to a two shot. Oh my God! There's got to be a huge. If you don't see, if I don't see a hundred hearts going up from yodeling, give her some thumbs up. Oh my lord! How? Where did you learn this yodeling skill? Well, uh, I used to go and sing like competitions when I was really little, and I lost uh, one because this nasty uh, was yodeling out there, and she beat me just by the skin of my teeth. So I told myself that'll never happen again. And I went home and taught myself how to yodel until my next competition. And I blew her and her mama right out of the water. Wow. Now, how do you learn how to yodel? Like, what, I haven't used the word yodel in probably 40 years. Just like anything else in life, if you set your mind to it. And then plus, I was at a, um, a garage sale when I was little. And Leanne Rhymes CD was out there on the table for 25 cents. And I bought it. And it's a yodeling CD, and I just listened to it and practiced over and over and over until I could yodel. All right, so listen, I think the yodel has been one of the biggest hits yet. Facebook is going crazy, and everyone's saying, please do that again, but even better, whatever that means. Oh. Now, Lacey, I, I'm telling you, I think if you go on a run of yodeling, yodeling could just become a sensation. You can start a movement right now, the great yodeler. Isn't there like this little cowboy that was caught yodeling at Walmart? Do you uh, that? I think so. There Let literally was this little boy that um, he was yodeling in Walmart with these pair of boots on, and I couldn't help but think I was just doing that last week. How the hell is this nasty thing getting going viral because of it? It's a bunch yeah, oh, of. Oh, I do have that. Wait, oh, yeah. is that it? Ooh, this is seventy-four million views. Exactly. Let me see. I don't know if this is gonna work. This doesn't always work. I'm gonna pull this up. Let me see. Let me see if this works. Hold on. Let me see. Do you hear it? Got that cow. Yeah. You see what I mean? You can hear it, right? Yeah, I should go and remake that video. You, hold on. Herbert, you can hear this, right? Okay. All right, we got a whole yodel, yodel thing going on here. Now, Lacey, yeah. to be honest with you, although the kid is cute, and although it has 74 million views, I think you might be better, and I think you have to kind of throw down the yodel. I know. I should. Let's go full screen, Herbert. Let's cue this up. Everybody, if you like what you hear, we got to like thumb and heart the heck out of this because Lacey Evans is going to try to do something special in the yodel world. We're going to see if we can make this go viral. We'll clip it out, throw it up there. Three deep breaths, Lacey. Let's get some yodel action going. All right. Well, first, let me just teach you a little bit. So a yodeling is literally in the throat. Um, and it's controlling. I don't really know, like scientifically, but it's you just got to be able to control this little piece right here and say yodel. So everybody out there, <laughs> record yourself. I want to see this. 
So te to teach yourself how to yodel, you just say yodel a, yodel low. Do it, John. Like yodel a, yodel a, yodel low. Now drop it in the throat, like yodel a, yodel low, yodel a. Right here. Yodel a, yodel low. Yodel a, yodel low. But then you gotta keep going. Yodel a, yodel low. So it's like yodel a, yodel low, yodel a, yodel low, yodel a, yodel low, yodel a, yodel low. Right there. Herbert, go to a two shot here. Look. On, let me on, let me try it. Ready? You gotta feel it, John. You gotta feel it right here. You gotta feel it right here. Oh my goodness, Lord that, help him. All right, let, let, you do it. You, you go right. full screen, Lacey. People are going nuts for this, and we need so you got to give me a little thumbs up for trying at least. Yeah, all right, give him a couple thumbs up. For the trying. She doesn't want to credit any of the thumbs to me. All right, you ready? Yep. And you just keep on going. Wow. Wow. That's pretty awesome. Uh, let's give, so let's give, uh, Let's give Lacey some love there. Let's see. I'm just going to pull something up. Box just part. Yeah, I like this. Here, look. We're going to look right here. We're going to see what this uh, has for us here. Let's see. Hold on. Yodeling what? and whistling. <laughs> wow. Hey, this could be this could be my uh, night job. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, I need to start practicing a little more. I, I think I beat all these now. No, this is pretty good. Maybe I should go to a yodeling competition. I think you might, Herbert. Go to a two box with me and Lacey. Look at this. The um, I like uh, kind of like this. I mean, I, Lacey. Yeah. Well, so who do we think is better? Lacey, how do you think you stack up here? I'm not, I, I beat all of them. I ain't answering that. Shoot, I don't even practice. The only time I yodel is when you nasties ask me to. Give me a couple weeks and some practice and I'll go to the, I'll go to that competition. All right, well, what I love is uh, uncovering new talent. Uh, American Brain and Brawn is all about using your head, overcoming obstacles. Lacey was thrown out a challenge and not only did she rise to the occasion, but she just surpassed it by a mile. Because yodeling on the spot when you're not expecting it, I got to say, it's it's tough to do. Oh, yeah. Yep. I but mean, you know as, what? Yeah. Confidence, uh, honey. Wait, hold on. Samantha says Lacey is better, but when yodeling, she looks confused. Wow. Everybody's uh, entitled to their own opinion. Wow. But, that Samantha, was... That's Looks why they know Lacey Evans' name, and I don't know yours, sweetheart. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, I like this Sean Fenner. Look, I think Sean Fenner is the one who came up with Semper Fabulous. Really? He said, Sean Fenner, who is just a baller, he says, new finisher, the yodel bomb. <laughs> huh. Not a bad idea. He should, he should come, come, uh, come on my creative side of the team. Hey, uh, Sean, here, I'm going to put a... Uh, it, Sean is hilarious. So, Sean, if you put like an email in the chat box, I'll send you a link, and uh, you can join us on the on the uh, on the show. Um, let's see if Sean can do that. I got to get in touch with him somehow because I can yeah, send you a link, and Sean can join us. Sean deserves to get on the show, you know, because he came bomb. up with Semper Fabulous and the Yodel Bomb. Yeah, I mean, I'll I'll, I'll fly off the top rope with a good old fashioned Yodel and smack him right in the face. Shoot. <laughs> Right now, I'm, I'm saging out all the bad comments and the negative energy. I'm not going to let none of the nasty things get in my soul, honey. Yeah, that's right. Um, it says, let's see. Jose says, oh, here's Sean. Sean just gave me his email. I'm going to get, we're going to get Sean on the show right now. All right. Uh, Sean, come on out, honey. Here we go. Hold on. Hey, Sean, get ready. You're coming in. So let's see. Uh, what was that? Mini... Here it is. Uh, here we go. So copy link. Hold on one second. 
Let me, let, I'm looking at this. Hey, Lacey, why don't you yodel or do something while I get Sean on the show? You know what I mean? I'll, I'll keep running my mouth. What are we doing? Yeah. Keep, keep, keep talking about how excited you're. Elmo loud. for, this live. is what happens. Elmo for, uh, for uh, yeah. one thing uh, I do have to say, all you nasty things out there listening that love me, all these kind words that y'all sent in, which I'm going to keep. Don't screenshot that because I probably misspelled half of them. Look yeah. at this. You see all this? This is all the recent fan mail that I got from you guys. It's a lot, but I am weeding through it and writing all of you back. Yep. Um, so yep. if you can imagine, but I love fan mail. You guys have no idea. Like this to me is like the best part of why I do what I do is you guys writing and saying what y'all say to me. So um, just so y'all know, I don't know if y'all are listening, uh, freaking William Michener, all the way down to Claus Cordes, I hear you guys, and I am responding one letter at a time. Um, but yeah, all the way from damn China, Lord. But no, this is um, my favorite thing. My favorite part about being in WWE is all you nasty things actually reaching out. And the, the type of mail that I get from you guys is incredible. I mean, talk about, like, I always say, life's hard. Mental health, you've got to figure it out. You've got to keep trying. You've got to put your best foot forward, figure out what works for you. Then I hear some of the stuff that what I say and things that you guys have been putting into play for you guys' life. You guys write and thank me. And um, I should open up some and read them to you all. But Let's do a little mailbag. Open it up and, and read some. Here, this one is from uh, Letha Bush from Arkansas. Now, if it gets all emotional, I can't. Um, that's, that's right. This is I a good segment of the show, fan mail. Fan mail. I won't put her, um, it, you know, personal life out there. But, dear Lacey, I just wanted to write you and tell you how awesome and ins inspirational uh, you are. Thank you for your service to our country. Um what alone, I don't know, what alone is worthy of administration. I was civilian support staff for almost 20 years in the Army National Guard. Um, what's your name? Latha, thank you, man. That's, that's what you do for this, for us is incredible. Um, I was laid off in 2014 due to budget cuts. Um, that was a huge setback financially. Um, Oh, I also had a small stroke last year and have been um, in a battle trying to recover. So I get a lot of mail like this and I won't read it because she really goes deep into not only what she's been going through, but why I've helped her, you know, get through this kind of stuff. And um, it's incredible because you are making a difference in so many people's lives by what you stand for and what you are doing in WWE by being a positive female role model. Thank you, Lacey. Stuff like this is is literally why I do what I do. Now, Friday, I'm going to go rip some people's hair out of their heads. But right now, Wednesday, I tell you guys that it doesn't matter. Figure out what yeah. is wrong or what difficulties you guys are going through, what difficulties you guys are facing. Right now, I'm trying to cut caffeine because while I thought all that caffeine will help me keep going and be the best mom and the best wife, it, it dropped me. Literally, um, a prof healthcare professional told me, you got to stop. And I am always, I don't just stop at candles and sage and journaling and, and writing down my goals, but in puzzles and mental health and gardening, I continue. And I, I wanted to find out other ways I could fix myself because, I mean, life is freaking hard. And one thing is cutting caffeine. Like, and that I, I chose to use this show to tell you guys, like, it's, it's rocking me. It literally, I, like I told John, before we started the show, I was done. I couldn't lift my head up. And so I did make a small cup of coffee to drink a couple sips to get me through the show to continue on. But I am day two of minimum coffee amount drinking. And um, I mean, I, I normally go off of 10 cups, but um, this is why I freaking do what I do. Like life is hard, but we could figure out little ways. Even if it's stopping coffee, even if it's writing down our goals, freaking lighting candles, there, there's always something that we could do to make the best day possible no matter what you're struggling with financially mentally emotionally hell i just had to write down all my bills i'm behind on those too because i'm so busy but all right well, thing at a time 
Well, listen, I think we got our uh, special guest who, listen, if you're in the chat room and if you're as clever as our next guest, you get an invite to come join us. That's all right. Let's see. It. Well, let's see. Let's see if he, if uh, Herbert's got them all hooked up. We're looking for Sean Fenner. Uh, let's see, Herbert, bring us on a three shot if you got him or single up, Sean. Sean. Let's unmute. Make sure Sean unmute yourself. Let's see. I got it. Hit but the I mute button. Hold on, he's coming up. Yeah. Hit the mute button. There we go. Full, Herbert, go full screen with Sean. Let's see. You got him. There he is. There he is. What's up, Sean? Not much. Just watching you guys. <laughs> well, oh, hi, Sean. Well, Hello, listen, you came up with Semper Fabulous and the Yodel Bomb. <laughs> that those are two good ones. Well, you know what can I say? It, it, I got great material to work with here. <laughs> That's right. So what are you I, What are you envisioning for the Yodel Bomb? Do I climb to the top rope? freaking stand on the edge of the turnbuckle and freaking drop one on the neck or i mean like what what do you what are you foreseeing that maneuver be or is it just like from the bottom fucking standing standing moonsault right to the back while yodeling yes i think the, the standing moonsault while yodeling all right so drop them and then finish them with a yodel down to the back or yodeling while the referee's counting three. Ooh. Ah, wow. I like that because then people will really be paying attention to see if they kick out or not. Absolutely. Huh. Wow. That's and you pretty can... interesting. You know what? I, I've got to give him credit. What, what do you do for a living? Because you're, you're a super creative dude. Um, well, actually, I sell motorcycles. Oh, <laughs> oh what wow. kind? Uh, Harley Davidson. What else? Right. Are you kidding me? No. Now, what if there's a certain someone here who isn't in the WWE who's currently in the market for a motorcycle? Uh, Got to find the right bike for you. It's That's not just hey, did you hear that, Lacey? Uh, John, I told you this would pay off. Bike. You're not cut, John. <laughs> I told oh, you. You wait. You don't think I could pull off riding a Harley? Nobody thinks I can pull it off. Honey, stick with a scooter. Stick with a moped, sweetheart. Lord. I tried. I tried. Come on. Sean. Harley yeah. does have a line of electric bikes coming out soon. Do yeah. they really? <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna be I'm all over the electric scooter then. Do, are they <laughs> are you allowed to call a Harley Davidson vehicle a scooter? Even if they made a scooter, would they allow I, that to be in the vernacular? I don't know. It's it's still in the works, so we're not quite sure yet. But yeah, I don't see why not. <laughs> All right. Well, Lacey's saying I can't get one, so I gotta I gotta convince her. I'm not her the only one. She's a woman, and she's right. There, yeah, look, look if any, does anybody think I deserve a motorcycle? Yeah, Throw yeah. it in the chat box. Not Let me deserve. See. Not deserve because John, you're smart. You really are. You work hard. Mm -hmm. It's the deserve is not the work. Would do, are you cut out for a Harley, honey? No, no. Stick with the uh, moped, jump on the scooter, electric bike, maybe your style. Leave the Harleys. Remember that word fragile that I said you were? Is that what you was said? That what frail. You did not say fragile. Well, frail, you know, imagine you put lifting your leg over a Harley to ride off in the sun. Uh -uh. You, know? you, you think it would vibrate and I would just shatter? Or most likely, I don't, honey. I don't even think you could hold it standing up and get get the throttle into first and take off, sweetheart. It's it's it, it won't happen, honey. Man, I am I am glad, Sean. Do you know how tough my skin is? Do you know how tough I have to be hanging out with Lacey? Yeah, well, I'm sure you wouldn't be my partner if you didn't have tough skin. Tough, that's it. right, uh, Sean. Listen, I uh, appreciate you joining us so much. Honestly, Semper Fabulous and uh, Yodel Bomb is going to become part of the vernacular of the show. Keep the ideas coming. You know? I, tell you what, I, I, I appreciate all you guys do, um, everything you've done in the past, everything you are doing now. It's just, it's a total honor to talk to you. Thank you awesome. so much, man. Hopefully you come back on down the road. Absolutely. Awesome. Um, all right. Well, thank you so much. Uh, if anybody else wants to join us, I put the link in the chat box. We've got about five minutes left. You didn't tell uh, me. So their, if anybody can opinion. find the link in the chat box and you can go first come first serve. You didn't um, tell me their, uh, their opinion on you and a Harley. 
Yeah, Tell I want how- anybody who wants to come in to give their opinion on me and Harley. If anybody wants to come in to just say how incredible Lacey is, because I know no one's going to come in and say, John, you're amazing. It's just not going to happen. Even though, if y'all want to know, look, do you know that between us, who's one? Look, you may have more fans. You may have more fame. You may have more of everything except one thing, and that's Emmys. How about that? I don't even know what an Emmy is, honey. You don't even care. No, you don't even all. care. Not at all. But my partner does, so I might as well. That's pretty much I have one, too. One? How about six? How well, about there that? You go. I have six of them bad boys. You know why? Because John Brinkus is a six-time Emmy Award-winning son of a gun, and he's my partner, and we are American Brain and Braun. So, well, hell, that's just more to add to my resume, sweetheart. <laughs> that's a, like Somehow you just got six Emmys attached to your name. Budding badoom. Budding badoom. And you know what else? How about New York Times best selling author? Are we? <laughs> How about that? Oh my gosh, we are. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I gotta update my Instagram uh bio immediately. That is Take yeah, you gotta time. you gotta update it. Um all right, we got like three minutes left. Whoever can figure out, I put the uh zoom link in the chat box. Uh, Junior says, hey, I want to come in. Al says, hey, I want to come in. If anybody can figure out how to click on a Zoom link, you can come in in the next yeah. two minutes. If you not, want all cut day it off. Want in one hand and crap in the other and see which one fills up faster, you nasty things. Click on the link. Get in the, what is it? The, the Zoom room. The Zoom room and freaking join us. Waiting on you. Yeah, that's right. We're waiting on you. Hey, Herbert, is there anybody in the waiting room right now? Herbert, you said no? Well, too bad, so sad. No, too bad, so sad. All right. I, I put the link in the chat room. I don't know if that's going to, I don't know if that's doing, if that does it. I think you just need to copy it. I think you can just copy it. Maybe not. I don't know. You can throw your email, John. throw all your email in the chat box and on Facebook, and I'll email it to you right now. John, you got like a minute. I'm Emmy Award winning the brain of the brawn of the American brain and brawn, and you don't know how the hell to get them into the. Oh, my uh, goodness. What do you mean? I don't know. I know how to do it. Oh, my gosh. This. I, I Let me apologize to all my fans. Obviously, if I was running the ship, the freaking everything mm. would be squared away, and you'd have the link clickable to where it's bada-bing, bada-boom, one click, done, you're in the room. But no, freaking John Brinkus is now saying you got to copy and paste and then send out your email. Um, can we say John Brinkus, six-time Emmy Award winner, New York Times bestseller? Just so put the link in there? Me. That is, we as like a package deal, but right now. Now, is it reciprocated though? Is it reciprocal? Because can I say WWE superstar? I don't, am I allowed to? Absolutely. Look, when it comes to American brain and brawn, listen what we bring to the table. We're not just (laughs) dealing with a six time Emmy award winning something, 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 freaking best time New York selling book author, freaking WWE superstar. Like we bring some stuff, honey. Us. So there, yeah, we, ooh, we got a bunch of people here. Ooh, we got legend. Who do you want to let in? We got someone who is I'm not going to say at whatever, but we got legend killer, or we got S. We got like Sam fifty nine twenty one something. Which one do you want to invite killer, in? Because that's exactly what I plan to do across the board when it comes right. to WWE. All right, get, then open up another piece of fan mail. And this is going to be our last thing. Right, right. Here. I, I gotta, I gotta look at the, uh, I gotta look at it. You gotta squint. I'm old. Oh, do not go. bend. Let what do you think go. they sent me? Okay. You know what? I know what it is. They bought my tops cards, which all you nasty should do immediately. Watch me be wrong. Normally I'm not wrong. Legend killer. Oh, right, look at that. Lord, would you look at me? Just as classy and sassy as ever. Lacey Evans. Her attitude in the ring is nothing but ladylike. Former United States Marine. <gasps> oh, kicking ass and taking names. That's right. Hey, I just put, uh, just so uh, Israel knows, legend killer. Uh, I just sent the link to your email, so it's coming. So it's coming. All right. Oh, look, he's an autograph collector. Ooh. You think he's going to sell it if I sign it? Might. Hmm. They normally do. Mm-hmm. I ought to start highlighting these names to see if they continue to give me the same old, same old. 
That's but it's right. hard to do that. Um, let's see. I'm going to send the link to one other person, too, and whoever gets here first gets on the air. Um, Thomas, I'm, oh, he's 18. My biggest fan since NXT, which I've done a lot since then. Thank you for your service. And this is his favorite card of me. Will you please sign it so I could add it to my collection? Yes, Thomas, Ooh. I will, honey. You want me to send the link to somebody with the email Malice Angel? Mm. Sounds pretty good. Sounds that sounds pretty good. Here we go. Malice. Malice Angel. I'll knock it. All right. Here we go. Are you reading anything? You want me to read more? Yeah, read another one. Here. All well, right. Where's Legend the link at? at? Here we go. Herbert, is there anybody in the waiting room yet? Oh, a whole family, the Price family. Okay. All right. This this is helping me. Oh, Lord, another one. Look gonna, at that. You're going to sign that. Classy as ever. Wow. I've seen this All one right. actually live. You are classy. Tell me something I don't know. Mm hmm Oh, my God. This handwriting... I don't know if I could read that. Here. See if anybody, if I throw the link in the chat box, shouldn't you be able to copy it? Um, I don't know, John. You're the brains of this operation. I think, Herbert, I shouldn't they be able to copy it? I think so. Yeah, the comments go so fast, you just have to scroll back. Look for John Brankus, and you got the Zoom link right there. All right, I sent the Zoom link out. We got to close these rooms quick. We only got four minutes left. Yeah, I got I got gardening to do. I got packing yep. to do. By the way, all you nasty things, make sure you guys tune in next week because I am leaving. And what I mean by that is I am packing my camper up in two days. I am driving south, then headed west, and I have no destination. And uh, so when y'all see me next Wednesday on American Brain and Brawn, I don't know where the hell I'm going to be because right. I'm, I'm fed up and I'm out of here. Wow. Well, we got another guest right now. Let's uh, let's see who we got here. I think we we've we've got identify yourself, uh, American Brain and Brawn fan. It's Malice Angel. I'm Malice Angel. Hi. Hi. Wow, Malice Everybody. Angel, 2016. How are you? I'm good. How are you? We're doing awesome. Uh, what 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 brings you uh, what brings you in today? Because you've been watching the show, and I see I've been seeing your comments. We saw your your. Uh, your uh, email and it was it was perfect on point. It's 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 a pleasure to be here actually because I've been wanting to talk to Miss Lacey Evans. She's a really good wrestler. She is awesome. That's oh, awesome. Thank you. Well, let's talk, sweetheart. What's on your mind? Oh my goodness, I wouldn't know what to say. I've never talked to a wrestler before. <laughs> this well, is interesting. Uh, well, we could start with how you feeling. Is your day going good? I'm sure yeah. it is now. Yeah, I'm doing good. I'm about five weeks pregnant, so yeah, I'm good. Congratulations! Is this your first? No, this is my third, ma'am. Oh, yay! Um, you got two kids, boys or girls? I have two daughters right now. They're, uh, one, my oldest is six, my youngest is three, and I have two more possibly inside my stomach on the way. Two? <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> I hope that oh I hope Lord. one of them's a boy. I want a boy. I'm s i am I love girls, but I just want a boy. Right, wow. right. No, for sure. Well, do you have any uh questions for me before, you know, now you got your chance? Anything you've ever wondered? Oh my gosh. Um, where have you been lately? I haven't seen you on TV. Um, well, I got my hands on Naomi. You saw that in Friday. I get another That's opportunity. To, I, think um, I, I think I saw that. Well, did you see my karaoke segment where I won? No, Where's I did not. I, I, yeah. think I, I think I missed it. You should go back and watch that episode on Fox of SmackDown TV. We actually had the first ever SmackDown women's karaoke contest, which I won. So mm -hmm. when you watch it, just keep that in mind. I definitely won. Um, however, Naomi uh, is 
obviously a liar. And I had to do what I had to do to make sure the entire world knows not only that I won, but what I'm capable of, which has led to a match with me and her this Friday. So make sure you don't miss it. Um, and actually, we're all, everybody out there listening, we're going to have a moment of silence for her career because there's only two days left until I get my hands on her. So let us just let us pray. Amen. Amen. All right. <laughs> we got to wrap things up. Listen, uh, Malice Angel, God bless you. Uh, mm -hmm. God bless all the fans. We're going to be back next Wednesday, I believe. Yes. Uh, yep. Yes, Miss Lacey. Yep. There's no telling where the hell I'll be. Cause like I said, I am packing my camper up and I am taking a mental health drive for a few days. All right. Well, all right. So next Wednesday, seven o'clock Eastern, God bless you all. Um, any, any, uh, parting words, Lacey, peace. Keep it classy. Don't be a nasty and make sure hey, can anybody guess where I'm going? Try to guess between now and then freaking keep the comments coming. We don't got to be live for y'all to uh, put it in there. Try to guess where I will be uh, by Wednesday. Anybody right. can guess whoever's right. Maybe I'll send them a little something, something. All right. Um, here we go. It says Lacey won the karaoke, but not fair. USO was judging and he's a brother-in-law. Exactly. See that's that right. it's, that's proof in the pudding right there. That's what happens when you got family on your side in the ring with you being the judge. Are you kidding me? Get that nonsense out of here. I ripped that that nasty's hair right on out of her head. And I'll do All it right, again right. on Friday. All right, everybody. Uh, the first guest came in. New York, Crestview, Florida, Coleman, Alabama, Destin, Florida. It's pretty good. Orlando. Those all sound like great places. They we'll do. We'll see you Wednesday. Tune in Wednesday right, guys. because y'all are going to come with me. Wednesday. Herbert, roll us. Roll it. Let's get out. See ya. In the world of today. Strength and power lies with the legendary overlord of all knowledge, the Castle Master. He holds all the keys, all of them, which is why Kill Cliff, the clean energy drink company, is tickled that the Castle Master has joined our award-winning customer service team. You shouldn't be doing your calls from the bathroom. Next caller, go ahead. Hey, Pops House. Uh-huh. I, I need to see your face. Yeah, no, my video's not working today, so. Is this right, Kathy? Uh -huh. What? Yeah. Hey, drink more I Kill Cliff. Kathy. What? All right, next, next caller. How long are you going to be in there? Hey, Cosmos. Yeah. What are Hold you on. doing in there? Ma! I'm in the freaking toilet, answering some calls. Do people know you're sitting on the pot? No, I'm on mute and there's no video. Do your calls from somewhere else. Yeah, I'll be out in a minute. I've got to get in there. Yeah, go ahead. You got the cast mask. How long are you going to be in there? Who is that? Yeah, no. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just drink more kill Cliff. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> I didn't even ask you a question. I have to take a jump now. This is getting ugly. Awesome new flavors. Awesome new cans. And an awesome new customer service representative. Kill Cliff. Own it. Go to killcliff.com.